intolerance is the sensitivity to a specific protein in wheat, barley, and rye known as, who to thunk it, gluten. People with gluten intolerance can't have gluten because it's not called intolerance for no reason. And this sounds pretty exasperatingly awful, right? It is. <laughs> a while back I found out that I had a new mortal enemy, pasta which is super problematic because pasta is my breadstick on the side, on and off again boyfriend, and I have shed countless tears in the expanding of my intestines because I decided that the starchy scrumptious noodles were worth the pain. And every time I go through this sort of gluten hangover, I realize it wasn't worth the pain. <laughs> but every time I see spaghetti, my stomach-shaped heart beats my tummy till it rumbles and I miraculously change my mind. It's like I'm Juliet and pasta is Romeo forbidden affair between starch-crust lovers. And that happy dagger I plunge into my heart is actually a fork hermering German chocolate cake, and my heart is actually my intestines. And wow, this metaphor went sideways. Much like I do every time I eat gluten. The curdling in my stomach, the ache in my gut is all avoidable, and I've been really good about my gluten-free lifestyle choice, and I'd like to say that I can have my cake and eat it too, but cake has freaking gluten in it. So I guess I can just have my cake and let everyone else around me eat it. Every time I go to a restaurant, I pray to the gluten-free gods that there might be something that I can eat besides a light salad, or what I call a sorry excuse of a suburban soccer mom on a diet meal. I mean, it's not even a meal. It's a disappointment. And every time I bite in, I feel like a depressed rabbit, so I make a joke about feeling like a depressed rabbit, and everyone offers me a bite of their meal. But I can't eat it because gluten. <laughs> gluten, gluten, gluten. It's more like a curse word to me now. If I stub my toe, I say gluten. If I almost run my car into a cornfield, I say gluten. If I get honked up by the guy who almost ran me into a cornfield, I say, no, I call him a danger to society. <laughs> but I guess being gluten intolerant isn't so bad. I get to choose where my family goes out to eat, which means I never ever have to eat at another pizza ranch again. I discovered rice flour and Thai food and hibachi sun and dried fruit. But the thing that takes the gluten-free cake is I get to eat more chocolate, more seafood, more tacos, more soups, all the gluten-free food my delicate stomach desires. And that is the icing on the pretty pink frosted cake that I can't eat. Yeah!